We begin with Utica Community Schools becoming the latest district to head into the fall semester with masks optional. Tonight, school board meeting bringing out the pro and anti-mask parents and things got heated as we've seen in a number of other such meetings. Mara McDonald live in Sterling Heights tonight. Some tense moments tonight, Mara. You know, Devin, what we saw play out here tonight is what we've seen in districts across the metro. On one hand, you have parents begging for a mask mandate. On the other hand, you have parents who are absolutely opposed to it. And in the middle, you've got a school board that is begging for civility. I, I strongly encourage you to leave it to the, to the parents. No testing, no social distancing, and definitely no mandated COVID tests. Thank you. <laughs> Without a vaccine available for small children, we need to mandate masks in the short term. People grandstanding about freedom and normalcy for their children are willfully ignorant. The battle over what the fall semester will look like for students in Utica Community Schools played out in front of the school board, which has already decided to go mask optional to start. It is unfortunate Utica has decided to abandon science, abandon research, and abandon medical advice from the nation's top clinicians. The CDC does not make law. There has been nothing passed through the legislation in the state of Michigan regarding any type of mandates. The MDHHS does not make law. MDHHS does have the power, as does the governor, to do a statewide mask mandate for students. Local health departments have the power as well. The governor has made it clear she will not do it. It's up to individual districts, despite the strong recommendation from the state's top medical professional, that students mask up. I'm pleading with you to listen to facts, just to facts. We all want our kids in school face-to-face -face learning. I don't understand what it is that we are attempting to protect children against right now. I don't know if you guys know something that I don't know, but I do not understand what we are trying to protect children from by masking them. Back here live, the UCS school superintendent made it clear that mask optional really depends on students' behavior and parents' behavior, not sending your student to school sick, making smart decisions outside of school, social distancing. He also explained the data that the district looks at to determine steps forward. Devin, Karen, back to you. Well, I'm curious about the turnout tonight, Mar. whether you could tell uh, which side seemed to have more people representing the view there tonight. So, Utica Community Schools estimates they've got about 60,000 parents in this district. I'd say tonight you had about 90 parents total mm. there. And I would say that the majority who were there were pro anti mask. Back to you. Pro anti mask. Yeah. All right, Mara, we'll keep following <laughs> yeah, it. This, yeah, yeah, that's it, a new one. Pro anti mask. You're exactly right. Anti -mask. Yes. Yeah. But this is uh, the decision being made in districts all across the state. We'll continue to follow it.